Okay, so you know diabetes starts from uh, six point five HB one C of six point five, and um, uh, over the years we have had a lot of data telling us about that. With each one percent rise in HB A one C, we see a a huge rise in the risk of complication. The reason why diabetes is called a silent killer is because it leads to a lot of microvascular and macrovascular complications. You know, harming the kidney, the eyes, the heart, the brain, the nerves, the peripheral vasculature. So it has. been seen that if you can manage to keep the hb1c below 7% then the risk of the complications come down by a huge percentage right so that is why this target of hb1c of 7 has been set though it is it can be a little variable for from person to person it can be individualized but generally we would want an hb1c of less than 7 so that the risk of long term as well as short term complications can be minimized you wish i mean then everybody would be fasting right and it would be so easy to control diabetes well no diabetes is a metabolic disorder it's a lifestyle disorder it occurs because of insulin resistance because insulin is unable to perform its function of keeping the blood sugar under control so fasting is not is just decreasing the amount of calories and how long can you fast you cannot fast every day and one day or two days of fasting is not going to help what can help is maybe you could go for intermittent fasting if you're in the pre diabetic range or you're obese and you're trying to cut down on weight that is where intermittent fasting might help but as such we do not ask for fasting for our diabetic patients we ask them to control the total amount of calories we want a balanced diet which contains adequate amount of nutrients in the required proportions and we cut down on the total amount of calories that has been taken by the patient depending on his or her height and weight and bmi and then accordingly if needed we add the medication to that